So the RV14 is a kind of the ultimate or the, the latest development of the two-seat side-by-side con concept from Vans Aircraft. You could look at the RV14 kind of in two different ways. You could look at it as a two-seat RV10. So it's bringing some of the cruising efficiency, cruising comfort features of the RV10 down into a two-seat airplane, making that kind of capability more affordable for someone who maybe couldn't afford the four-seat RV10. You could also look at it as kind of a bigger grown-up version of an RV7 where it takes some of the sport flying capabilities that are in the RV7, the aerobatic capability, nice view over the nose, good flying qualities. Of course, the 10 has that as well, not the aerobatic capability, but bringing those kind of features up to a bigger airplane that can accommodate bigger, wider people and more fuel, so a bigger engine to kind of maintain the performance level of the RV7 with still having some of those nice features of the RV7, the sport flying characteristics. Well, our top speed is, if I remember correctly, is 207 miles per hour. Our cruise speeds are in the 190 mile an hour range. Um, of course, the higher you go, you're going to go a little bit slower, but you're going to be much more efficient as you're flying in through that thinner air and burning less fuel. The power plant of the RV14 is a Lycoming IO390. We've also, I'm going to take this opportunity to talk about some of the growth potential that we've designed into the kit. We've designed in the ability to maybe accommodate future products that have, say, electronic ignition or electronic fuel injection. We're accommodating the current IO390 with two mags and a standard mechanical injection system, but like I say, we've been looking to the future for other equipment. In this particular airplane, we have a Skyview system and a single comm radio, but at the same time, we've designed it to accommodate really a variety of avionics systems. So we're planning for maybe a Garmin solution, maybe an advanced solution that would still interface with our same master control module, which really revolutionizes the installation of the systems in the airplane, where everything comes together at this box with D-sub connectors. All of the wire harnesses are prefabricated, so it makes the build task very straightforward, very cookie cutter, repeatable, and again, high quality, easy to achieve, not any great amount of skill required. The RV-14 will eventually be offered as a quick-build airplane. Of course, because of our quick-build philosophy where we take the same parts that go into a standard kit aircraft and ship them off to the Philippine Islands where some folks there do a great job of putting the airplanes together, then they come back. Well, obviously, you can imagine that that takes time, just that pipeline, and then also we need to complete our development process on the airplane for the rest of the kits to be ready uh, and shipping in standard kit form to, to our customers. The price, we don't know that exactly yet, but it'll be in the range of RV9 for the kit price to RV10. Obviously, we want to keep the kit price as, as competitive as possible. Places where we can, we'll save money, but we're also including more in the kit. So those wire harnesses that I mentioned earlier, they'll be already in a wing kit. They'll already be in a fuselage kit or even an empennage and aft fuselage kit. The wire harnesses will be there and, and you'll lay them in at that time. So we're working hard on that. And then as far as availability, one of the ways that we've managed this project is to keep it behind closed doors so that we can do our development task at our own pace and work through it carefully and methodically, but we've also front-loaded a lot of the kit development work that would be done after maybe we introduce our prototype. We've done that already, and so we took some risk there because some features may have to change, but we still have the door open to make changes, but we hope to be able to compress that when are the kits going to be shipping schedule. Right now, we'll be shipping the wing kit first, and the wing kit will be shipping, I'm estimating, sometime in October. So comparing the RV-14 to, say, our next newest product, which was the RV-12, we really carried a lot of the features from the 12, a lot of the lessons learned from the 12 forward to the RV-14. All of the systems integration and the firewall forward kit things that we learned and developed on the RV-12, we've carried those forward into the RV-14. The nice thing about the 14 is that, you know, the 12 is a light sport airplane, great airplane, and it accomplishes its mission really, really well. But the RV-14 has that more traveling, more of a serious traveling touring machine. So it kind of brings that refinement of the RV-12 kit up to, um, you know, a, really a high performance amateur built kit. Aero TV is brought to you by... Avidyne is the brand of choice for pilots who want innovative, easy to use avionics. And the new IFD 540 and 440 FMS GPS Navcoms set a new standard for ease of use and simplicity. 
is plug and play replacements for legacy 530 and 430 series navigators, the Hybrid Touch user interface of the IFD 540 and IFD 440 makes it much easier to access the information you want while reducing head down time and making flying more enjoyable. Now you have a choice, and the choice is easy, Abidine.